Hello, what is up people, I'm here today with a new Photoshop tutorial, which is based on how to create paper text effect in Photoshop, see how cool is this? Okay, if you are new on my video and you like Photoshop, then you are on the right place. Subscribe to my channel for more Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. So, without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop. First of all create a new page. Having width 2000 pixels and height 2000 pixels, resolution 300 and color mode RGB color. After that, double click the layer and rename it background. Right click. Check color overlay. And for colors, put this color code. Change its blending option to linear burn. Now gradient overlay. Change blending option to multiply. Angle to 45 degree and opacity to 25%. Go to pattern overlay. Select this pattern. Change blend mode to linear burn. Opacity to 40%. Now you can see we have add some paper texture effect. Create a group by pressing Ctrl plus G and rename it background. I simply type BG don't mind. Now select text tool and type paper. The font name is on your screen you can search for it. Press Ctrl plus A. Align the text to the center. Now press Ctrl plus D. Here you can see the color code. Right-click on the text layer and covert it to Smart Object. Double-click the layer. Select Bevel and Emboss. Here size 100 pixels. And softness to 16 pixels. Uncheck the global light box. Change the angle to minus 145 degree. Highlight mode to soft light. and opacity to 15%. For shadow mode change the color. Pick the background color and select the darker color. And its opacity to 25%. Go to inner shadow. Blend mode to normal color from black to white. Uncheck the global light box. Change angle to minus 145 degree. Distance to 1 pixel. And size to 1 pixel. Noise to 5%. Go to drop shadow. And do the same. Now go to Pattern Overlay. Select this pattern. Blend Mode to Linear Burn. And Opacity to 40%. Now you can see we create the paper texture effect on our text.
Now press Ctrl plus J. To duplicate this layer, hold Alt key and drag these effects to delete bin because we don't need these effects and decrease the fill value to 0%. Double click this layer. Select bevel and emboss. Change style to outer bevel. Size to 50%. Softness to 16%. Uncheck the global light box. Change angle to 45 degree. Altitude to 0 degree. Highlight mode to overlay. Opacity to 50%. For shadows opacity to 0%. Go to inner shadow. Blend mode to overlay. Color to white. Uncheck the global light box. Angle to minus 145 degree. Distance to 1 pixel. Size to 1 pixel. Noise to 5%. Go to drop shadow. Blend mode to overlay. Color to white. Uncheck the global light box. Angle to minus 145 degree. Distance to 100 pixels. Also size to 100 pixels and bring opacity to 25%. Click the down layer. Press Ctrl plus G. Rename the group as letter. Click the upper layer and press Ctrl plus G rename it, text effect. Wait, something I want to share with you guys, if you like Adobe After Effects videos or want to learn Adobe After Effects, I have a channel for you guys, where you can watch After Effects and Photoshop tutorials, fully described tutorials, must subscribe for learning motion and graphic designing. Ok let's go back to our work. Now click this layer and duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Hold Alt key and drag these effects and delete it. Now double click this layer. Select bevel and emboss. Change style to outer bevel. Size to 38 pixels. Uncheck the global light box. Angle to minus 145 degree. Height light's opacity to 0% and shadow's opacity to 25%. Now hold Alt key and bring the cursor in between the two layers when cursor changes. Click. Now use arrow keys and adjust the shadow. This looks great because the light source is from the upper right corner. Now duplicate this layer again by pressing Ctrl plus J hold Alt key and bring cursor in between the layer and click. Now go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Change radius to 1%. Now let's repiate this process again. Double click here in Gaussian Blur. Change radius to 5 voxels. Do again the same process.
now radius to 10 pixels. Again the same process. Now radius to 20 pixels. One last time the same process again. Now radius to 30 pixels. By doing so, we created more shadow layers to create a realistic depth in the text. Now from here select Santon. Blend mode to overlay. Color to white. Sorry change blend mode to soft light. Angle to 45 degree. Opacity to 25%. Distance to 90 pixels. Size to also 90 pixels. Select this contour. And check anti-aliased. Now close this group. Click this paper layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus J. Hold Alt key and drag these effects and delete it. Bring this layer beneath the paper layer. Now double click this layer. Go to color overlay. Pick the background color and select darker color. and maybe change its blend mode to overlay. Let's see does it work on overlay. Now use arrow keys and adjust the shadows. No, it does not working. Let's change its blend mode again. Double click the color overlay and change its blend option to normal. Go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Change radius to 10 pixels. Change its blending option to multiply. Change opacity to 25%. And that's it guys. We did it. We have created the paper text effect. I hope you guys like my video. If you like my video do subscribe to my channel for more videos because it means a lot to me. See you in next video. Till that, peace. And goodbye.